Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 16 in Killer Shell exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. So we have to solve this question on this specific host. So let's uh, SSH and connect to the host. And the question goes, the tech lead of Mercury 2D decided it's time for more logging to finally fight all these missing data incidents. There is an existing container named cleaner-con in the deployment cleaner in the namespace Mercury. This container mounts a volume and writes logs into a file called cleaner.log. The YAML for the existing deployment is available at this location, so persist your changes at um, this, this location on this host. But also make sure the deployment is running. Create a sidecar container named logger-con with this image, which mounts the same volume and writes the content of cleaner.log to a standard out. You can use the tail dash f command for this. Uh, this way it can be picked up by the Qubit logs. So check if um, the logs of the new container reveal something about the missing data incidents. So there are multiple uh, Kubernetes resources that we are touching uh, in this question. So the focus uh, here is on the side cut container and uh, we'll be using the same volume and volume mounts the existing deployment is already using. Um, and then, yeah, a bit of investigation using the logs and then find out what's causing the problem of the missing data incidents. Right, so they've already stated that uh, the deployment manifest is available here. So let's uh, copy this file. Uh, because they've asked us to persist the changes in the cleaner-new.yaml, so let's copy this file into the uh, new file. So this is uh, pr our primary f work file that we are going to modify. So even before we do anything, um, let's check or inspect the existing resources. So let's say in kubectl in the Mercury namespace, get pods and deployments. So, so for this question, we are going to look at uh, the cleaner deployment. So this is the cleaner deployment, which had two replicas or two pods in it. Uh, these are the ones. And now let's modify the file, which we just copied. Uh, So we already have an init container here and another container called cleaner of corn here. So the container actually uh, does this like, you know, it prints the date and then simply writes this remove random file and then writes it to the log file here. So, so this is uh, just an emulation saying that uh, uh, a data scenario here they are simply printing this bit of information to this cleaner.log file um, but imagine a scenario where uh, we are running a container we don't have this sort of transparency let's say it's it's um, accepting few arguments for the application to run uh, but you know we have to really inspect the logs to find out what it is causing the problem. But in, in this case, this is clearly transparent that they're writing this bit of information, uh, emulating uh, something wrong with this container or some processes within the container, trying to remove some random file causing the data, missing data incidents here. Uh, so let's now create a sidecar container. So sidecar container is um, again another uh, container within the pod uh, we can I mean we can create it as an init container uh, let's name this container as logger hyphen con as asked in the question and uh, the image Let's pick uh, busy box 1.31.0 and uh, the command 
is going to be so they were asked us to use tail have if um, to simply uh, query the last few entries in this log file which is this and we don't have to worry about the volume mounts because we're going to uh, I mean we're going to use the existing volume and volume mount so we're not going to modify that uh, we're going to simply copy and uh, reuse the same which is uh, already configured for the existing in container or container uh, the one thing uh, that we have to still do for this specific init container is uh, make the restart policy as always so this container uh, rather than being served as an init container it will be running as a sidecar container and always up and running so this should do the trick uh, I'll write and say uh, yeah write the changes to this file uh, that's done now let's um, apply the changes what we have done so keep the mercury namespace we don't have to specify the namespace because it's already there in the yaml manifest so keep it apply using this file here so it says cleaner configured Let's check the rollout history. Of the cleaner deployment. Revision number three is there. Now let's inspect uh, the parts and deployments to see. Um, So we have these things, uh, these ports already running. So let's pick up um, this one. So keep cuddle the namespace Mercury. Um, let's check the logs of this container. So this port is, uh, and then Let's look at the logger hyphen con uh, container within this part. So it clearly says uh, remove random file. So this container is, uh, is still running as a uh, sidecar container, and uh, so it always keeps, you know, regardless of the fact what happens, this init container, since it is running as sidecar container, where we have set the um, policy to. Um, I mean the restart policy to always it always keeps uh, restarting even if something crashes and we'll still be able to uh, check the locks uh, by connecting uh, to the container like how we did this time um, and we'll be able to inspect what's really going on so in this case we see something uh, is removing uh, the files in random so yeah, that concludes uh, this question. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again.